we have a research session also, uh, rubber industry research. Today, we have a researcher from IIT Karakpur, Ms. Um, Sritu. Uh, she's a research scholar at the Rubber Technology Center at the IIT Karakpur, India. She's going to present and share the information of her research work on the role of zinc oxide with various morphologies and surface characteristics in elastomer composites. May I invite uh, Ms. Sritu to come forward and uh, introduce about your research work. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Sridhu TK, and I'm currently working as a research scholar at IIT Kharagpur. Yeah, one minute. So today I will be going to discuss on the role of zinc oxide with various morphologies and surface characteristics in elastomer composites. So we know that rubber has played a vital role in the path of civilization, and the vulcanization is a process of transforming a plastic rubber products into the highly elastic products by forming a three-dimensional network structure. And this process actually uses a bunch of chemicals such as sulfur, accelerator, activators, like zinc oxide. So like the, uh, we know that like the 50% of the global consumption of the zinc oxide is going to onto the rubber industry alone. And the recent study conducted by the Swedish and Britain shows that like about 150 tons of zinc is leaching out from the titrate every year. So high release of the zinc into the environment like it is toxic to the aquatic species micro contaminants and algae so owing to these ecological concerns the minimization of zinc oxide amount in the rubber compound is a necessity so from our side we have explored and try to replace the conventional zinc oxide with the various zinc oxide structure like active zinc oxide and nano zinc oxide so in that we have uh, basically we structural characterization have performed that are like XRD spectrum, FTIR and the TG analysis. So from the XRD, we can see that the uh, two theta values were corresponding to the typical Miller indices value that confirms the structure of the zinc oxide were hexagonal versatile structure. And in the FTIR spectrum, we can see that there is a prominent peak of the zinc oxide and OH were observed at the 800 and the 3600 in the nano zinc oxide. And when we look into the thermogram analysis, that is the degradation profile of the various zinc oxide, we can see that it is prominent two degradation profiles were observed for the nano zinc oxide. That is the weight loss at 139 could be due to the any volatile materials or any water absorbed on the surface. And there is a, another degradation profile that is around like 392 degrees Celsius that could be due to the, any loss of the organic materials that are present during the synthesis process of the nano zinc oxide. So when we coming into the morphology of the zinc oxide we studied that are like conventional zinc oxide were processing a cuboid structure with a 300 to 600 nanometer size and an active zinc oxide having a nor nodal and porous structure with the particle size of 100 to 500 nanometer and finally the nano zinc oxide were having a spherical and plateless structure of uh, 30 to 50 nanometer particle size and aggregate sites of 500 to 600 nanometer. So uh, Coming into the preparation of the natural rubber carbon black zinc oxide composites, like we mainly uh, obtain like the nano zinc oxide from 0.5 to 2 pH, like 0 0.51, 1 1.5, 2 pH, and the active zinc oxide from 1 to 5 pH, and the uh, conventional zinc oxide we took at the reference sample as with 5 pH, that is C5NR. And with the natural nano zinc oxide we are terming as the N.5 and N1.5, and with the active compounds we will name as A1NR and A3NR, okay. So uh, the master batch preparation were done in the Brabant Rio code and after that the final batch prepared in the Turon mill. So uh, you know that the cure characteristics that is actually given the processing properties of the cardboard uh, is given the torque values like MH value and MH minus ML delta torque values actually giving the polymer filler interaction also. So here we can see that the MH value were of the active and nano zinc oxide lot of composite were increases with the increase of zinc oxide content. And the uh, 
the from the uh, mh value that if mh minus ml value that is we call delta torque we can see that higher the delta torque the higher will be the cross intensity so when we comparing the elastic modulus with time curve and the cross intensity of the compound the trend was formatting like the how whichever compound is having the highest delta torque it's showing the highest cross link density and the compounds were uh, with the what is the optimum cure time that is tc90 and the processing safety let is cost time ts2 were giving the n1.5 nr and the a3 nr batches that is the compound with 1.5 phr of nano zinc oxide and 3 phr of hydro zinc oxide were giving a optimized properties among all the batches and so this could be due to the lower particle size and high surface area of the nano zinc oxide uh, that was able to give a similar amount of crossing density when compared to the 5 phr of conventional zinc oxide loader compounds and a3na shows the highest crossing density than the all other batches this could be with the higher surface area and the high reactor sites in the a3na along with the extra sulfur content present in the active zinc oxide making this is possible and when we analyze the physical properties of the natural rubber columnar composite is loaded with the zinc oxide such as like tensile strength elongation modulus shear strength and the hardness we can see that the a2na shows a 14 percentage increase in the tensile strength were a3na and a4na express a comparable properties with the c5na while n1.5na and n2na demonstrate a higher tensile strength and elongation at break than the c5na so a3na and a4na a5na actually increased a about 924 and 35 percentage of modulus so in a nutshell we can say that the modulus and the tensile strength and elongation were better in all this active fill active zinc oxide loader and the nano zinc oxide loader compounds so uh, when we are looking at the other physical properties such as shear strength and hardness we can see that the n2 na shows a 27 percentage of improvement in the shear strength over the c5 na uh, similarly the a3 na were also be a2 na is showing the increase of 26 percentage over c5 na so uh, we coming to the dynamic mechanical analysis of the natural rubber carbon bar composite loaded with various zinc oxide we know that the dma analysis actually giving the idea of what the rolling resistance and traction of the compounds like the rolling resistance the tan delta value we obtained at the 60 degrees giving the rolling resistance of the compound so from this it, the results were really amazing that the rolling resistance was reduced by 31 and 14 percentage for n1.5 nr compound and a3 nr compound when compared to c5 nr and the traction were tremendously improved by 81 and 75 percentage for n1.5 nr and a3 nr when compared to the c5 nr compounds so uh, this the mechan this uh, the influence of these properties we are trying to interpret with the polymer filler interaction by using the morphological analysis such as scm and afm so from the scm analysis we can see that the compound with the conventional zinc oxide that is having the micro zinc oxide particles are less prone to the agglomeration and uh, the nano zinc oxide were having the high uh, reactivity and the uh, like higher surface area is showing having the uh how to say agglomeration at the higher loading but even though we added at a 1.5 phr that the lower loading it the agglomeration tendency was very low so then uh, when we look into the active zinc oxide at uh, the 3 phr the due to the high surface area and the active high reactive sites of the active zinc oxide were prone to the agglomeration or aggregate formation so this where the polymer filler interaction were obtained from the study of uh, this uh, like for the nano zinc oxide for the active zinc oxide and for the conventional zinc oxide so similar uh, morphology were obtained for the atomic force microscopy also like for the uh, case of active zinc oxide there was a aggregate formation that is actually lead to the higher modulus of the a3nr compound that we already discussed in the physical property of the composites so uh, in conclusion we can say that the nano zinc oxide and active zinc oxide having the high active center are actually giving a replacement or to the conventional zinc oxide that is in a nutshell we can say about like 1.5 phr of nano zinc oxide and 3 phr of active zinc oxide are equivalent to the conventional zinc oxide in in our matrix in terms of like cure characteristics mechanical properties dma and that leads to a reduction of zinc oxide amount in the rubber compound by 70 and 40% respectively so when we look into the mechanical property like tensile strength 
or the uh, elongation number, we can see the tensile strength has increased in 14 percentage and 3.8 percentage for A2 NR and N1.5 NR when compared to C5 NR. And then it was gradually decreases at a higher loading that we explained with the morphologic analysis that like at a higher loading, the agglomeration is happening. So uh, for the TS strength, uh, it has increased by 27 and 26 percentage for the N2 NR and A3 NR. So in the uh, conclusion, we say that the addition of active zinc oxide and nano zinc oxide, the modulus and the cross lean density of the compound were increases. And we already explained that the role in the resistance has decreased by 31 and 14 percentage that actually giving a better fuel economy and the traction had improved by 81 and 75 percentage for the batches of N1.5 and A3 and NR compounds. So this work has been published in Journal of Polymer Research. And if you have any further queries related to this work, you can have to, uh, like, we will be happy to help you or you can come to me and my guide. So yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for listening.